Hey there. guys, this is Stanley and Otito, and, and we want to say welcome, welcome to, to the New Year on, on the, the Great, Great Couch. couch. Mm -hmm. So today is our one year anniversary, can you believe it? It's actually mm -hmm. been one year, you guys joining us virtually and yep. uh, some people in person and we just want to say uh, thanks for your viewership, for your attention, we don't take it for granted. Mm -hmm. And um, what do you want to talk about today? <laughs> well, just kind of give you a bird's eye view uh -huh. of what we're looking at for this year, uh -huh. and um, and essentially just say the premise for why we do what, what we, we do, do. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, mm -hmm. kind of reset the vision and, mm -hmm. and, and what have you. Mm -hmm. And one of our big themes is that uh, the concept of conflict in marriage yep. and they, walking through, and that. Walking through mm -hmm. conflict in marriage. Mm -hmm. And the first big idea mm -hmm. is that not all conflict can be completely resolved. Uh -huh. Boo hoo hoo, right? Because the idea is that once you <laughs> fix it, it's gone and it's no more. But uh -huh. but generally, uh, we like to think that conflict has cleared, resolved, never to occur again. But but mm -hmm. if we are in the habit of talking about our marital histories, mm -hmm. the clear mm -hmm. heart and head. Mm -hmm. We will see that um, many of the things that we bicker about are essentially same the old, same, same old. as in repetition. <laughs> uh, and we're, we're not talking about, about not things like not replacing the toothpaste, cap, uh, or, or putting back the, the tube when or, it's finished, or covering mm. the toilet seat back. <laughs> but more of the big, what are you and where are we going? What are we going to well, what do about, to this, do about issue? this issue mm -hmm. before it takes us to a point of no return? Those issues, what we know as um, perennial issues or perennial mm -hmm. problems, mm -hmm. because they can just keep coming up again over and, and, and over and again. Yeah. So if you if you think about um, if you think about like a tree, mm -hmm. they during various seasons. Sometimes they shed their leaves. Uh, and, and become bare, seeming as though there's been a resolution. Mm -hmm. But then at other seasons, those leaves come back in full force. Mm -hmm. And we have to decide if we're going to keep watering uh, the, the tree, tree. Mm -hmm. or if we are going to work on how to keep it as it's... Um, barest. That is yeah. barest, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the tree roots are still on the ground as it were. Yeah, I mean, how do you want to do that? Like. If the tree, and if you know, it's very hard to uproot a tree, right? So if the tree stump is still there, just want to make sure that it doesn't keep, like, you know, blossoming, mm -hmm. as it were. Uh, next big idea is that of intimacy, mm -hmm. right? So the question of intimacy, we think of ourselves as having, like, a third culture. And so the question is, is intimacy something that is foreign to you, right? As in terms of culture, is it something that... Um, you know, within our cultural ethos, right? What are the things we're thinking about intimacy? What does humor, what does playfulness have to do with that, right? So these are some of the issues that we're going to be exploring more of on the couch this year. So what's the third the idea? The final idea, uh -huh. the big three, uh -huh. is that uh, no one can actually tell us, you, how to be married. Mm -hmm. I and mean, it's a very individualist, individual, individualistic. Yeah. No, it's collectivist, but it, I mean, it's... No, but the relationship, it's, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's one on one. No two it's marriages as unique, are the same. Yes, it's as unique no, as the two people in yeah, there are. No mm -hmm. two marriages are the same. Mm -hmm. um, because the truth is that we cannot talk or, or think, think our, way. our way into mm -hmm. a thriving marriage. Mm -hmm. I think that's a big thing. It's like you can't yeah. talk or think your way into a thriving marriage. You just have to leave, leave our it. way into it. And then as we go on, you're going to see how thoughts about the union and the partner change, change right? as, as we, we continue, continue to, to leave it, it out. out. So, so almost like a sense of this idea of, you know, something that I don't necessarily subscribe to, but it's the same idea. That is this idea of, you know, living the life that you wish to see. Right. So, so we hope that. we hope that you will join us mm -hmm. for our renewed and revitalized program in this year. Just getting lots of guests joining us mm -hmm. and uh, novel ideas. Yep. Um, we can't wait to share this journey with, with you. you and with us because we believe that one of the premises of the couch is to share as we um, discover. And right. sharing is mm -hmm. caring, right? Yep. So go ahead and share, share the, the channel, channel, links with family, family and friends. friends and, and foes. <laughs> we don't mind. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> and while you're at it, you can always gift somebody, right? The book that mm -hmm. we wrote last year, a year ago now, wow. to, we were talking about relational insights that we've gleaned over the years of being in relationship with one another and with our creator, right? So this idea of uh, vertical and, and horizontal, horizontal relationships, right? So you can get a copy of this from Amazon, right? And uh, link should have link <laughs> yeah, so um, we'll see you next week for a conversation on how to be more, more married, married, right? right. If, right. if if something like that exists, <laughs> we'll see. Yes. All right. So bye for bye now. Bye for now.